Hi, this is Heidi from Garden Crossings, and today I'm actually going to be doing a product review. So along with gardening, I think birding fits very well into that same kind of classification. I know a lot of us gardeners really enjoy watching the birds as well. So I was sent a couple products from the King's Yard Company. Uh, there's two different bird feeders here that I received. One is a suet feeder, and then the other is a three-in-one bird feeder. So let's go ahead and get these unpackaged and take a look at what the products look like. The first product we're gonna unpackage here is this Touch of Nature Bird Suet Feeder. Um, this is a nice double suet feeder, so there's gonna be um, a holder on two sides. It's made out of recycled plastic, and it's really easy to clean and refill. So let's go ahead and unbox this and take a look at how, it, um, how it's boxed up. Packaging is quite simple, it appears. Looks like it's just to pull it out of the box and it's probably gonna be ready to go. Yep, very much so. Um, like I was stating earlier, it's made out of recycled plastic. So this is really nice um, material. It's not wood, it's not gonna rot. And I think it's gonna be a little bit harder if your birds do peck at it, that they probably shouldn't be able to peck to this uh, plastic as well. This is gonna hold the smaller size suet feeders. Like I was saying, double-sided. Basically, you just open the cage. We're gonna place the soot feeder in and then snap it back together shut. So it does come also with a really nice hanger on it. It's metal and it's wrapped in plastic um, or some, some sort of a coating. So that's gonna hang up really nice out on my bird feeder line. So this is from the King's Yard Company. Let's take a look at the next one they sent me. The next bird feeder they sent me is um, this is the King's Yard Triple Feeder. So there's three different spaces in this feeder where it will hold three different types of bird feed. Uh, the reason for it holding three different bird feeds is that it's gonna allow for um, you to attract different birds into the garden with a different feed. So this one is a charming house design. It's all metal construction, easy to clean. It's got large capacity. Um, so let's go ahead and unbox this and see what this one looks like. This one also looks like it's just to slide it out of the box and it's ready to go type model. Yeah, absolutely. So it's got the nice metal construction. Um, the three different compartments here, they all have that little bottom entry uh, drop down type um, reservoir where the seed will just fall right into the pan here. Uh, the pan does have holes in it so that if it rains, the water will not sit here in the pan. So it'll keep your uh, bird food dry. Um, different size holes in the different um, outer compartments, and that's, I think, if the birds want to peck through the, the, the metal grates there, they can. Let's take a look how this one's going to get filled up. All right, so it looks like I have to snap this top hanger off and then just remove the lid. So very easy to do. That's what it looks like on the inside here. So let's go ahead and get this filled up and hung up and we'll see how long it takes for the birds to come. Before we go any further, I want to comment that if you are interested in any of these King's Yard bird feeding products, we have links and discounts in the um, area below. So please check that out if you are into birding and are looking to add new great feeders to your bird feeding collection. So that being said, let's go ahead and get these filled up and just show you how it's done. So I just went and bought the small size suit cakes from our local um, like tractor supply or whatever store you have that has suet cakes. You can find them really anywhere. Um, this is a small size and that's what fits inside this suet feeder here. So I'm gonna pop the door open and we're gonna pull out the suet cake. These things are always so messy and sticky feeling but that's also what holds them together. I'm just gonna place it right in there, fits perfectly. Take the door, snap it, and it's in place and ready to go. I've already pre-filled the back side. So we've got two suet feeders in there. Uh, one thing I'll point out is when it gets hot in the summer, if you don't have a lot of birds that visit your garden, um, it is good to change these out every so often because they can get essentially like stale or rancid if they're sitting in your um, feeders for too long. 
Uh, so Up here at the Northern Michigan Garden, we get five different woodpeckers that come and visit the area. So I'm excited to wait and watch as they hopefully find this soot. Let's go ahead and fill the three compartment bird feeder now. All right, so to fill this one, we're gonna snap the handle off, remove the roof, and this takes the three different kind of seed. Now, when I was at the store last night picking up my seed, uh, they didn't have any of the Niger bird seed, which is what would go in this smaller area. Uh, that's the type of bird seed that would attract like your finches, your sparrows, your smaller type birds, um, even though those smaller type birds will eat other seed as well. Um, they didn't have any of that, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put um, a basic bird seed on uh, both sides there. So, first dig in here. This here is the um, black oil sunflower seed. And this is just a good, like if you're looking for an inexpensive bird seed, uh, this covers a lot of the different birds. And it's pretty easy to find the black, black oil sunflower seed. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pour that one here into the center compartment. that nice and full all right it's starting to kind of spill out through the bottom little reservoir which is what we want it to do and then on either side of that we have just kind of a generic bird seed mix it's got some cracked corn some more sunflowers um, some I don't know already opened up sunflower seeds and then that little pellet stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and put that on either side. And this is just uh, more options, brings in more different kind of birds. This scoop is super handy. You can see I'm still spilling, but it does a much nicer job than had I not had a scoop. Another thing you can do is if you have a milk carton, like an empty milk carton, the half gallon, just cut that and kind of create your own scoop. That's pretty um, handy to use as well if, if you don't have a metal scoop. All right, making a little bit of a mess here. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on. Like so, clamp the handle back on. And I think we're ready to go hang it up and watch the birds. All right, so now it's time to get the bird feeder hung up. What I like to do is um, we have a metal chain that's hung between two trees. And then we use carabiners every so often to clip the different bird feeders that we put up here. So let's uh, take the carabiner and clip it on to the handle. And then I just clip it into one of the links here of the chain. That way the bird feeder doesn't slide back and forth. It kind of stays right in place. Uh, the nice thing here is how it's hanging. I can see all the three different compartments from my kitchen window, which is just about 15 feet away. So it'll be fun to watch the birds as they come to visit. All right, now I'm gonna get this suet feeder hung up and uh, hopefully we'll be having some woodpeckers visiting us soon. Um, on this, I'm also using a carabiner to hold it up. And the other reason besides I clip it into the chain, is it's easy take up, take down um, with just unclicking that carabiner. So let's go ahead and get this hung up. I wanna make sure I get it between the chain link, that way it doesn't move. All right, perfect. We'll see how long it takes to get the birds to know the new feeders are here. This is Heidi from Garden Crossing.